This is a very simple procedure that we find very, very useful for high ulnar nerve palsies or high median nerve palsies. In this case, it's an ulnar nerve palsy. And in this situation, we will be doing some nerve transfers, which is available in another video, to recover ulnar nerve sensation in the hand and ulnar nerve intrinsic function in the hand with nerve transfers. But for ulnar nerve extrinsic function, we just do this simple profundus tenodesis. So we sweep the superficialis tendons over towards the radial side of the hand and then identify the profundus tendons. Now the FDP to the index finger is independent in this case and this will be to the long finger and then we'll have the ring and small fingers. So you identify your profundus tendons and you pull on them so you're sure which tendon is which. And if they have a completely independent tendon to the index finger, we don't include that in the tenodesis, just leave it alone. Now I'm pulling on it to be sure which tendon's which, and this is an ulnar nerve palsy, so I want to give some power to the ring and small finger tendons. 3 otichron will be great for this tendon transfer. And I'll go through the ulnar two tendons with a little more tension on them than how I go through the donor, if you will, median profundus. So I pull back a little bit or get the assistant to pull back a little bit on the profundus tendons to the ring finger and small finger. And you can see if you look at that tendon suturing there, the tendons going through the middle finger innervated by the median nerve are going to be not as tight as the ulnar profundus tendon. So the suture for the median nerve tendon to the long finger is a little more distal than the sutures going through the profundus to the ring and small. And you can see me pulling back or my assistant pulling back a little bit proximally so that I can get a bit of tendon tension on the ring and small profundus. Now this first back and forth weaving is the most critical. I'll put some more in, but this is gonna set the tension. And you can see that I'm tightening up on the ulnar two tendons. Now that I've set that tension, then I can just put my weave back and forth. And I'll usually do about four of these back and forth with that 3 otichron. So if you've got weakness or no function in the ulnar two profundi, then put a little proximal tension and just put your weave through or your sutures through. If you have a high median, you do the opposite. You put a little more tension on the index profundus and the long finger profundus. And I'm elevating the superficialis tendons. This works just terrific. Um, there's not a lot of tension on this because it's a side to side suture and it immediately gives the patient extra power in the profundus tendons to the ring and small finger. You want to check that the cascade that you have is comfortable, so we'll look at the fingers and extend the uh, finger so it's not too tight and that you've got a nice cascade of the small finger being set a little tighter than the ring being set tighter than the long, and you can see that nice cascade right there, and you can see I've left the index out.